Laszlo, will you tell us why you decided to be part of this project? Well, I think I owe it to my country, owe it my, to my consciousness, and I'm very proud of it, you know, basically. And I feel uh, my contribution previously during the revolution, it was considerable, you know, as we uh, documented the, revolu uh, the revolution and uh, we smuggled the film up with my friend Vilmos. And uh, I think I feel, you know, between that time and this time, you know, it has a wonderful co uh, continuation, you know. And uh, I think uh, we owe it to the public to remind them again. It's very important, you know, what, what happened in 56. Of course, you know, <clears throat> there's another generation, uh, actually two generations, grew up in this country. They never even, most of them never even heard of the revolution, unfortunately. And uh, they don't teach that in the school. So uh, I think us Hungarians, quote unquote, Hungarian Americans, I think it's a very noble effort, you know, to uh, try to tell them, you know, what our country was before and and how it became free, and how we got here, and what's our role. How has your experience been like so far as being part of this? How, how has your experience been so far being part of, working, being part of this project? Part of this, yeah, fascinating, you know. It, it, it was unbelievable, especially those professor in, in, in Boston, uh, and because I thought, you know, I knew everything about the revolution, I knew everything about the Russian, I knew about everything about Stalin and Khrushchev and the whole thing. And listening to this gentleman who really uh, specialized this, I discovered that I really don't know anything about it because they just suddenly opened, opened up a, a, a different world, you know, it's behind the scene, politics, you know. and. Uh, I find it really, really interesting, very fascinating, you know. And uh, when we finished uh, and we came back home, you know, I was telling my family, you know, so, and they were really uh, fascinated by the whole incredible, my experience, you know, what I, I had, because I, I try to explain it, you know, to my daughter and my wife and, and some friends. And uh, so I think uh, that's, that's a wonderful thing and, and it's a great experience and it, it goes on today what, what we heard and what we've seen, uh, people from different uh, walks of life, you know, they're telling us our experience, uh, their experiences, you know, and it's very, very emotional, you know, it's uh, something, you know, uh, uh, you know, not to be forgotten. And I love it. I enjoy it very much. Now you're a legend. You're working with very young filmmakers right now. How does that feel? Uh, well, I'm not that old. <laughs> well, it's it's great, you know. I mean, some of these young filmmakers, you know, actually, uh, one of them is my protege, Eric. I've been following his career uh, pre graduation and after graduation, and and he's he's growing, you know, and I, I, I love to see these guys, you know, to have the experience and, and I'm looking for the talent, you know, because I wouldn't waste my time, you know, for somebody who I feel didn't get it, you know, didn't have it, you know, and I think Zoltan and Eric and, you know, all these guys are just phenomenal, you know, not just technically, you know, but I think they have uh, such a great uh, feel, feel to the, you know, the movie, films as an art form. Well, thank you. We feel very honored that you're part of this project. Oh, so. an honor is mine, you know, believe me. And thank you for asking me to do this, you know, and, and it's very exciting, you know, and I love it. Can you give us a little bit of the technical aspect, how you... Uh, you know, I don't know anything about technical. <laughs> 
I mean, seriously, you know, uh, I mean, we are doing it high definition, you know, and uh, in mind that uh, uh, it's going to be blown up to 35 for theatrical release. And I found this uh, particular uh, high def amazing, you know. I mean, it's a just, it has a beautiful range, mid-tones and beautiful blacks, you know. And, and uh, I try to stylize uh, the interviews, you know, <clears throat> have totally back background, you know. Because I think any background you, you would uh, put these people in any environment, would be very disturbing, I think, would be, you know, uh, it call attention to itself. This way, the audience potentially is forced to say, and that's, that's wonderful because that's, that's what we do, filmmakers. We let the audience eye go exactly where we want it to go, go to. And uh, it's very powerful and it's very dramatic and it's, it's very interesting, uh, you know, speaking on high death, you know. In my career, this is actually uh, first or second time I'm, I'm using it, you know, so I was in a lucky position, you know, I, I have been working always on film. Even dailies I never saw, dailies in, on tape, which I hear horror stories, you know, my colleagues, you know, because uh, the studios don't want to spend money on film print, you know, dailies. And, uh, and that's very disturbing, you know, because, uh, uh, I mean, it's, a, it's so important, but, you know, your heart breaks because they don't care. They, all they care that they can save money. And uh, <clears throat> I was working for producers who didn't really care, especially I worked with uh, Sandy Bullock, who uh, also produced her film. She's very successful. His, her movies are uh, making a lot of money. And she's using that power uh, to really be very independent. And the studio just leave her, leave her alone. And, and she dictates, you know, says, yes, we want to see, we want to see film dailies because my hairdresser can't see anything what she's doing or her makeup or her wardrobe people, they can't see the details, you know. And that's what movies are about, you know. I mean, they work, they part of the work, you know, to, uh, to pay attention to the details. And uh, so I've been very lucky in, in even in a location in New York, uh, <laughs> which was wonderful, they, you know, because New York we moved uh, a lot of location to location. And at the end of the shoot, you know, we end up somewhere, uh, 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 Bronx or, you know, so far away, like two hours away from the lab where you would see the dailies. So they have a truck, 40 foot semi, for, strictly for this person. It's empty, it has two projectors side by side, you know, <coughs> soundproofed and a long table in the middle and a screen. And, and we are actually being served lunch at the right there. We just, as soon as they break us, you know, we come and having lunch there and watching daily. So when we finish at the end, we don't have to, you know, use time, you know, go to travel. But that would be another, another extra two, three hours, you know. And, uh, and she enjoys it because she also likes uh, that everybody, everybody comes and see it. So I've been lucky.